Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're diving into the exciting world of Boeing's Starliner. This spacecraft is not just taking a trip, it's on a mission to showcase its full capabilities from launch to landing. Join us as we explore how this pivotal test flight aims to secure NASA certification for future long duration missions. And before we move on, please don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to stay updated on this groundbreaking adventure in space exploration. Let's get started. NASA's commercial crew program collaborates with the American aerospace industry through a public-private partnership to facilitate the launching of astronauts using American rockets and spacecraft from US soil. The objective of this program is to ensure the provision of safe, reliable and cost-efficient transportation for missions to the space station, thereby extending the available time for research. The Boeing Starliner represents a series of two partially reusable spacecraft configured to carry crews to the International Space Station and other destinations in low Earth orbit. Boeing manufactures these spacecraft, with NASA's commercial crew program serving as the primary customer. Each Starliner system comprises a reusable crew capsule and a service module that is designed to be expendable. The crew capsule of the Starliner has a diameter of 15 feet, 4.56 meters, making it slightly larger than both the Apollo Command Module and SpaceX's Crew Dragon, yet smaller than NASA's Artemis Orion capsule. It has the capacity to accommodate up to seven astronauts and can be attached to the ISS for as long as seven months. The capsule is engineered for up to 10 reusers. The Starliner is launched aboard an Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 located at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. NASA astronauts and seasoned Navy pilots, Commander Barry Butch Wilmore and Pilot Sunita Suni Williams, are gearing up for a mission to the International Space Station as part of the Starliner crew flight test. These two astronauts are poised to be the pioneering crew members aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft headed for the space station. Here's more about them. Starting with Sunita Williams. As the pilot for this flight test, Williams brings a wealth of experience. She has previously spent a total of 322 days in space during two missions. Expedition 14 and 15 from 2006 to 2007, and Expedition 32 and 33 in 2012. Hailing from Massachusetts, she has also performed seven spacewalks, accumulating 50 hours and 40 minutes outside the spacecraft. Before joining NASA in 1998, Williams earned her bachelor's degree in physical science from the US Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, and later received her master's degree in engineering management from the Florida Institute of Technology in Melbourne. Over her career, she has amassed more than 3,000 flight hours in over 30 different aircraft types. Now, let's talk about the Commander Wilmore. Wilmore will serve as the commander for the mission. He is a veteran of two space flights, having spent 178 days in space. In 2009, he was a pilot on the Space Shuttle Atlantis for STS-129 and later served as a flight engineer for Expedition 41. He took command of the station during Expedition 42 after their arrival in November 2014 and returned to Earth in March of the following year. Before his selection by NASA in 2000, Wilmore obtained both his bachelor's and master's degrees in electrical engineering from Tennessee Technological University in Cookville, and he earned another master's degree in aviation systems from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. He graduated from the United States Naval Test Pilot School in Patuxent River, Maryland. His military career includes four operational deployments as a fleet naval officer and aviator. The final flight test of Starliner, conducted by NASA's Boeing Crew Flight Test, will be crucial in verifying the entire transportation system, which includes the launch pad, rocket, spacecraft, its operational capabilities in orbit, and the safe return of astronauts to Earth. Now, let's delve into the mission itself. 
Following its launch from Space Launch Complex 41 and subsequent detachment from ULA's Atlas V rocket, the Starliner spacecraft will initiate an engine burn to propel itself and its crew into orbit, embarking on a roughly 24-hour voyage to the space station. Throughout the journey, the crew aboard Starliner will undertake multiple flight test objectives that are crucial for the spacecraft's certification for future routine missions. The initial test will evaluate the functionality of crew equipment from pre-launch through ascent, encompassing both suit and seat efficacy. As the spacecraft approaches, docks and rendezvous with the station, the Starliner team will monitor the spacecraft's thruster functionality for emergency scenarios, perform communication tests, and check both manual and automated navigation systems, as well as life support mechanisms. The space station crew will oversee Starliner's approach, with the onboard Starliner crew ready to execute any necessary emergency procedures. Starliner is set to dock autonomously with the forward-facing port of the Harmony module. The objective includes conducting hatch operations, configuring the spacecraft for its docked duration, and transferring emergency equipment to the station. The docked period will also allow the crew to assess the spacecraft's systems, interfaces, and cargo handling capabilities. Wilmore and Williams will enter the Starliner, seal the hatch, and test its capability to serve as an emergency shelter if needed. Such visiting spacecraft are considered potential refugees during emergencies like station depressurization, fires, or collision threats from space debris. Wilmore and Williams will then join the Expedition 71 crew for roughly a week before re-entering Starliner to commence their journey back to Earth. The subsequent flight test involves manual control trials of the Starliner before reverting to automatic operations. The crew's return journey in the spacecraft will last around six hours from undocking until the initial landing attempt. Upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere, the spacecraft will decelerate from its orbital speed of 17,500 miles per hour, with the crew experiencing forces up to 3.5 g. Following re-entry, the spacecraft's front heat shield will detach, having safeguarded the parachute systems, and a series of two drogue and three main parachutes will slow the descent further. The spacecraft's base heat shield will then open, revealing the dual airbag system. These primary airbags will inflate at the base of the capsule to soften its landing at roughly four miles per hour in the western United States, with potential landing sites including White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, Wilcox in Arizona, Dugway Proving Ground in Utah, and Edwards Air Force Base in California as a backup. Post-landing, the Starliner crew will handle parachute detachment, shut down the spacecraft, and establish communication with the mission control and recovery teams via satellite phone. The landing and recovery crew will check for any residual hypergolic fuel and ensure the command module is electrically grounded before personnel approach. A tent will be erected around Starliner to regulate its temperature, and a mobile access platform will be placed by the hatch while medical support positions nearby. Following these recovery operations, NASA will proceed to finalize the certification of Starliner as a fully operational crew vehicle for extended missions to the space station, with the inaugural NASA Boeing Starliner 1 mission projected for a 2025 launch. As we wrap up today's discussion on Boeing Starliner, we've covered the spacecraft's innovative design, its upcoming test flight, and what this means for future missions to the International Space Station. We've seen how NASA's collaboration with Boeing aims to enhance space travel reliability and efficiency. Now, let's keep an eye on how this mission unfolds as Starliner takes a giant leap towards operational status. Let's finish here, but before you go, please make sure you check the other videos on our channel. I just want to say thanks for joining us today as we delved into the incredible journey of Boeing's Starliner. We hope you found our exploration of its mission, capabilities, and the significance of its upcoming test flight enlightening. Remember, the future of space travel is unfolding right before our eyes, and we're here to keep you informed every step of the way. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, 
and subscribe for more updates on Starliner and other exciting advancements in space technology. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious. Cheers!